guys, if you watched, not sure what order I'm going to put it in, but basically I'm going to have two videos, Burlington Hall part one and part two. This was actually supposed to be part one because I bought it first. I like to just film kind of in the order of how I buy things. Just makes it easier for me. But then when I pulled out the camera, I realized I had the items from the second time I went. I was originally going to do one big video, but then I was like, you know what? I get chatty and that video was already hitting, I think, over 20 minutes. So I was like, I'm just going to do two separate videos. So technically this is part one, but I might be labeling it as part two. Doesn't really matter to you guys. You don't know when I'm buying things. But like I said, it just makes more sense in my head for me. But I had mentioned in that video, depending how I'm posting this, that I already started Christmas shopping, that I had gone to Burlington specifically because I had a friend who was having her daughter's first birthday party. And I went into that, went there because I love the cl getting clothes and toys from there. I said in that video how I really like it because I feel like you don't get duplicates. It's kind of like a TJ Maxx or Ross Marshalls where they only have one or two of each item versus Target where there's like 20 of each onesie and 10 people might be buying it for this person and you don't even know. So... While I was there, I also have a baby shower next month and I ended up grabbing a bunch of baby shower items. And then again, while I was there, I ended up seeing some things and I was like, you know what, maybe I should start Christmas shopping. I literally saw something the other day that said Christmas was 93 days away. And this was like four or five days ago. So we're under the 90 day mark. I know some people might think I'm crazy. Some people think I'm smart as hell. I started shopping last year on Labor Day. So technically I am shopping late already for me. I was done by Halloween and I had one of the most relaxing Christmases ever. And I would love to have one like that again. So I mostly got my baby cousins out of the way. My younger cousins, I should say, they're not really babies. I have one that's a baby that I haven't bought for yet. But they are hitting young adulthood, young adulthood, young teenagehood now. One is 10 and the other one is 9. And they love stuff like this. Spa sets. So I grabbed this for one of them. And this is, this box is huge. You can't even like see it in the frame. But basically, create and this create and decorate 3D nails. This has a bunch of things in one. So there's nails and then there's also create your own lip balms and then create your own bath bombs. So there's a lot of things in here. Literally shows you everything in the back. Shows you the nail polishes, the nails, the lip balms, the bath bomb products. It literally says, here's what's included. One set of adhesive nails. There's 10 pieces, three nail polishes, one wax base, one packet of wax chips, one measuring cup, one spoon, three flavor droppers, one stirrer stick, one essential oil, three lip st stackers, 25 gemstones, one body glitter, three bath bomb molds, one coconut oil, three mica powder, one baking soda, one bath bomb mix, one nail decal sheet, and easy to follow instructions. And that's so you can make all the bath bombs and make all the chapsticks. Two of them are sisters, so honestly, they're probably going to end up doing this together. So I don't think it really matters who I end up giving what gift to. But the other one, which they probably, like I said, they probably would both do together. And this was $14.99, so definitely well-priced for a lot of items. The next thing was friendship bracelets, and it says you can create over 30 bracelets here. This set was $9.99, and it literally says compared to $25. I wonder what the spa set compares to. Same thing compared to 25. And this has, it literally says, includes everything you need. There are 620 round beads, 90 alphabet cubes, 30 pearl beads, 300 E beads, 65 metallic alphabetic beads, 50 pony beads, 80 metallic beads, 10 friendship threads each, one elastic cord, one metallic elastic cord, three sparkling elastic cords, one shell charm, one unicorn charm, one rainbow charm, one heart bead, and again, easy to follow instructions. So you guys can see there was a bunch of different threads here. There's also, I can see personally behind this, there's more threads there. And there are tons of different beads and charms. There's the alphabet. There's more metallic style. There's more pearl style. So her and her sister will be able to make a bunch of bracelets. And they can make some bath bombs. They can do each other's nails. So I thought that was really cute. And then this is for, she. this cousin's a little bit younger. I think she's seven. Um, she's their cousins as well, the two sisters. And she loves like sweet treats. And she also likes like Play-Doh. So this is kind of a combo of both. You make sweet treats out of Play-Doh basically. 
and it's called Sweetlings. It says Frost Your World, a complete frosting and decorating station. Turntable makes frosting easier. So this actually spins and it comes with cupcake molds. Like it's not obviously actual cupcakes. It's just pieces of plastic, but then you can spin and you can frost. It comes with like the Play-Doh frosting. It comes with the different, the bags with the different tips. There's even like a glitter you can sprinkle on top. Comes with tons of different stuff. It says the Sprinkle Shop Workshop. Three large width clay tubes, star tip and cap, French tip and cap, round tip and clap, cap, small whipped clay tube, glitter, PVC decorative shapes, decorative stickers, plastic sprinkles, ice cream cone base, cupcake base times two, headphones, cherry, times two glasses tablet purse tweezers instruction guide and that's if you can see some of these cupcakes have like glasses this one's wearing like headphones and so you can make it look like the cupcakes are alive i thought she would get a kick out of this and it does say six plus so it fits around her age range really cheap it was only 6.99 compared to 18 dollars and then was that it for like christmas gifts i think that's it and then I have some baby shower stuff I can show you. So let me grab that. So they had this little basket. And I said, wait, are those included? Or did someone shove it in the basket? You guys will see what I'm talking about. Even the guy who cashed me out was quite confused. So this is what you see. There's like a little unicorn plushie. And there's like a blanket all rolled up here. And the, the basket itself has these cute tassels with the unicorn. And I like the handles on here. And it's by Zach and Zoe. And it says it's a three-piece gift set. It includes the plush toy, the plush blanket, and the canvas storage basket. And this was $10.99, which I thought was really well priced for three products. So then I said, you know what? I could buy little things and put inside this basket. And that'll be like her gift. So I grabbed this... 10 pairs of 0 to 12 month socks for $3.99. Four bucks for 10 socks. I thought that was really goodly priced. So I figured I could kind of like tuck it in the front. I'm going to do a whole basket video for her because if you guys watch part two, part one, whatever it is, I ended up buying her even more things. I'm actually going to do two baskets. I bought another unicorn basket. I'm going to sit this basket on top of that basket is what I'm thinking. And then I also grabbed this plush pacifier holder this says zero to 18 months and it is a unicorn as well so it goes with the theme and it's 4.99 which you get the pacifier and the little plush so i thought that was well priced and i figured this could kind of just sit here as well so i will show it to you guys so this is like the little socks with the binky and then i got her this three pack of onesies this is six months and uh six to nine months and the price says 24 dollars, but that wasn't burlington's price it says comparable value 10 but they only charge 5.99 for three onesies so i thought that was really 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 well priced i don't have kids but even my mom said that was a good price and if you watch pot one or pot two whatever i ended up getting her another set of three with long sleeves for only a dollar more that was still a good price considering it's long sleeve so i think i'm going to end up taking these off the hangers it'll be easier to put it in the basket i think i'm going to roll it and put it in but it's still it goes with the theme because there's pink and you can see this one has full of unicorns this one is full of rainbows and the one in the middle is just little hearts and the rainbows still go with the theme as well because if you guys look at this pacifier there's like a rainbow on it and then let's see was that it for the baby shower i know i have more things here but i treated myself to some things and i think that's all that's left in here i was buying for everybody else and then as i'm walking to the register i said girl get something for yourself so I grabbed, this may end up being a Christmas gift. I'm not sure. We'll see. I don't know if I would give it to one person or kind of split it up. But either way, worst comes to worst, it'll be for me. And I was like, whatever, I'm just going to get it. I just thought it was really cool. It's a Skittles Lip Smacker, like, tin set. And you get, I want to say, is it 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, you get 12 chapsticks. If you guys know me personally in real life, I am a chapstick addict. I literally have one in my pocket at all times. Literally have one in my pocket right now. A Vaseline one from Dollar Tree. And I usually pay a dollar each at Dollar Tree. Sometimes, depending on the name brand, 
I'll pay like two for a dollar, but most of the time I rather get like a little bit better version. So I'll get the one for a dollar ones. I've actually gotten Skittle chapsticks from Dollar Tree before. I've gotten if you guys watch some of my hauls, the green apple one, and I put it in my boyfriend's Valentine's Day basket. And he loves green apple and he loves Skittles and he used it and he loved it. And that was a dollar each. So this is a good price because this was $7.99, but I get 12 chapsticks plus the tin. And this flavor, see, I've never even heard of before. Like banana berry, strawberry, star fruit, mango, tangelo, wild berry, strawberry, there's raspberry. So I was like, I have to get this. So I got it. And then I am always, always losing socks. My dryer freaking eats socks. I literally just said that in a Dollar Tree haul the other day because I bought some socks. I walked by and I saw they had a back to basics, low cut, regular neutral colors set of socks. And I was like, oh, depending on how much that is, maybe I'll grab it. I'm like, if it's 10 bucks or less, I'll get it because that's like 50 cents a pair of socks. Guys, this was $7.99. I thought that was an amazing deal. Even my mom was like, wow, that is a good deal. So it literally comes with five white, five black, five light gray, and five dark gray. So eight bucks for 20 pairs of socks, low cut, neutral colors. I was like, I'm getting it. And then the last two things as I was heading to the register, I know a lot of people love going to these kinds of stores for makeup. I've seen the videos, TJ Maxx, Beauty Buys, and whatever, and they have like discounted name brand, higher end makeup. I have never seen those in my store. I don't know if it's just because I'm not someone who goes super often and it just sells out. Because these are people that literally go daily or weekly or whatever. This was the first time I ever saw makeup at my Burlington. One of them is Pixie by Petra. This isn't a super high-end name. You guys know this. Please, this name it shows up at Target all the time. But I do like her products. And it had a clearance sticker. I have no idea what the regular price was. I tried ripping off the sticker and it just rips off the original one too. But it was on sale for $8.99 and I really like the colors. And you get 24 eyeshadows here. 28, I'm sorry. It says these eyeshadows create a 3D effect to add depth and dimension to really brighten and bring the light to the eye area. 28 color palette of super silky mineral eyeshadows and a curated shade combo to make it easier to create stunning looks with a few sweeps. Highly blendable, pat, pigment packed, and long wearing. The mix of matte, metallic, and glitter hues, glimmer hues, help create a 3D effect, making your eyes the center of attention. Swish on this gorgeous shade to brighten, define, and enliven. In so I was like, I like the shades. It's on clearance for $8.99. I think I'm going to get it. So I treated myself to that. And then this one, actually, one of the eyeshadows is damaged, but I could not pass this up, guys. I, this is one of my favorite name brands. If you guys watch when I got AIA, which I may be re-signing up because I just heard that ColourPop is supposed to be the box for next month. But anyway, throwing that out there if you guys want to sign up. But this might even be out after that, after it might be done. I'm not sure. But anyway, this was one of my favorite boxes. It was the Bella Pierre box. I have been obsessed with that eyeshadow palette since I've gone it. I don't do it makeup super often, but when I went to Mohegan Sun, I went on a little trip. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that. I brought that palette and I used it every single time we went out to eat. I was doing eyeshadow looks with it. So when I saw this there, and I I know I want to say that palette was valued at $54. I know sometimes the box up values, but personally, I don't care how much it costs. I just really like the formula. So when I, and this was the last one, and this is the all-star palette, and it's blue. The other one was like a nudes-based palette. It was all different shades of like browns and nudes, but there was beautiful shimmers in it. So I was actually really happy, even though I'm not a nude person. So I was like, oh my God, I hope this is the same palette, but with, colors because i love bella pierre i love the formula so i opened it up and i fell in love there's definitely colors here there's some blues there's some purples of course there's some of those nudes again again there's some beautiful shimmers you even have some pinks over here i was like how much is this and then when i saw the price was 9.99 i was not passing that up I will show you guys there. Like I said, there is one damaged one, but I still thought it was worth it for me. And it's just that bottom one right there. And it's not even that bad. So that was everything I got at Burlington. My first haul was definitely bigger. So if you guys want to go check that one out, definitely go check it out. There's no Christmas gifts done in that one, but there's a lot more stuff for the baby shower. I actually scored a little bit of clothes in that one. That's one of my 
hacks. Nah, I don't know if that's a hack, but I love oversized t-shirts, graphic tees. You guys know that's very much what's in with leggings, with biker shorts, even with a little jean jacket, whatever, a little blazer. But it's really hard to find in my size. And a lot of times Burlington is the place I go because they have a big and tall section. So I will go in that men's section and get really cute t-shirts. I've gotten like a Michael Kors one. I've gotten like a NASA one. So you guys definitely check out that video if you want to see the other baby shower gifts, some of the clothes that I scored. I also grabbed like really some really nice home decor stuff as well. I was I spent a lot of money at Burlington this weekend. This first haul was I feel like there's things missing because I'm looking around right now. I'm like, there's no way this was like 120 bucks. But who knows? Little things add up. This right here is like 20, 30. 40, 50, 65, 75, 95. I'm trying to think what else I got from there. There might be other things. Oh, the first haul, I showed a mug and a hand soap that was actually from this haul as well. And then I think I ended up grabbing, oh yeah, and I ended up grabbing a few things for my mom to give as gifts for Christmas. But I spent a lot of money, and then obviously she gave me the money back for those. And the second time I spent $180, which is in that other part Burlington haul video. But that's it for this video. I say all the time, I am a haul and unboxing channel. I do have FabFitFun, Walmart Beauty Box, and Goldie Box, and I may be getting AIA again. So if you guys like unboxings, if you like hauls anytime I go shopping, I also do, do mystery boxes from time to time, but I'm also thinking about branching out. I'm decorating this place for Halloween and then I want to show you guys an apartment tour so you guys can finally see my new bigger place. Very happy with it. I now have an office slash craft room. So I'm thinking about doing some craft with me videos, journal with me videos. I also have a beauty room. So I'm thinking about doing some try on hauls. I just did a huge target order with a ton of full clothes. Maybe some cook with me's in my kitchen, although I don't, try not to cook too often. I won't be like, hmm, what do I want for dinner? I'm about to text my boyfriend to bring me something home. I have to stop doing that, though, guys. Do you guys do that? Do you, like, get takeout way more than you should? That's been such a bad thing for me since I moved out. But anyway, that is it for this video. If any of that sounds interesting to you, definitely subscribe. Hit the notification bell. If you like this video, if you like me, you like Burlington, give the video a thumbs up. And you guys comment down below, what do what is your favorite section at Burlington? I'm curious. Do you go there for the baby stuff, for the home decor stuff, for the men's big and tall? Is that where you do a lot of your Christmas shopping? I think there was one year that's where like 99% of my gifts were from. It's perfect because they have everything. They have clothing, men's clothing, toddler, baby, plus home decor, like literally baby products. They literally sell furniture. They literally have like the car seats, the strollers, like baby products, baby bottles. You know what I'm saying? They just literally, they have hats, purses. Oh my God, that purse section. Makeup, as you saw, beauty products, candles, literally a little bit of everything. I love stores like Burlington, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. Home Goods is not so much to close though, but everywhere else. But that is it for this video. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Be safe, guys.